August 31st, 2019. Guys, you're looking at the five-day graphical outlook uh, from the National Hurricane Center. Now, Dorian is up to 150 mile per hour sustained winds. The pressure's dropping to 945, and it had slowed down. And it's moving west, not west-northwest, at 8 miles an hour. This morning, it was moving at 12 miles per hour. So, quite a reduction in speed, and that's going to change some of the timing. We have a disturbance off the... Uh, top of cuba guys off the we call it the northwest corner and it's projected to move into the uh, gulf towards the uh, mexican border one of the models shows it drifts south and then that's where the model stops 60 percent chance of development on the storm uh coming off the coast of africa disturbance number one now the, it's pointing northward if it starts turning north this quick guys Usually, they will end up in the North Atlantic. Now, these are the 11 a.m. updates. Most of the models now are keeping Dorian offshore until you get up into the Carolinas. We'll look at the different models. There's about four or five different ones. Now, remember, this white cone that you're looking at, that is the uh, not the size of the storm, but where the track could go anywhere in that. And again, 11 a.m. update on your models. What it looks like is right in here, guys, in North Carolina. You see that? That is the crossing point of the most models. Let's put it that way. I, you're looking at the uh, outer banks and all. Now, let's look at the Canadian model. This was. Uh, these are the updates. Coming in close enough to Florida to where you're probably you're going to have hor uh, excuse me hurricane force winds then it's going to bounce out this is a different model bounce back in right here and come into south carolina does that remind you of andrew guys if you don't remember that from a few years ago you really should because of the devastating flooding we're going to go through about four models here and yesterday's we switched to the navy model remember as it was approaching shore, the shore it was still in the 980 millibar area right now it's at 944 so it's beyond this scale but notice as it moves between these two high pressure areas that you see in the orange and red but right here it is turning purple see that and yesterday it was going to come further ashore and then turn purple after it bounced back out. But here we're seeing a possibly and more than likely, guys, a Cat 5 forming before it touches anything right in here. And that would put you around the 3rd of September. Cat 5 coming up and taking a swipe at Nag's head. This is the Navy model. Again, making a, a dive right between two different uh, high-pressure areas. This is the global forecast system. Again, bounces into South Carolina scrapes out through north carolina you're going to get part of virginia any change in that tracking east will uh, bring flooding all the way up the east coast and that's what it's looking like this is a canadian model check it out you got a system in the gulf of mexico too but it's coming in right on the florida georgia line and uh, raking right up the east coast and you've got if you notice in the gulf of mexico in the center left right there this is what they're watching now and some models don't show it hitting Mexico. It, sh it just shows it diving down into the Bay of Campeche and then the models in there. But it definitely turns south in those. Again, the Canadian model, you've got about half the storm ashore, bounces out into the Atlantic for a moment, strengthens and slams into South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. Guys, think Andrew, okay? Yesterday we were talking about a different storm. Florence. Now the, the models have changed. It's looking more like Andrew, and that storm uh, from Andrew brought days and days of devastating floods. Remember all the poultry farms and pig farms and air, the cities that flooded and all the rescues that were going on. This thing's supposed to have a couple feet of rain with it, and uh, you just can't take your eyes off it. again. This is the uh, WRF model showing a storm following Dorian. And it's showing the system in the Gulf. Notice that. Check this out. And it just dips south right there into the Bay of Campeche in the, light, uh, the last frame. Now here are live images looking over the uh, Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. You see Dorian in the right. And just to the northeast 
of uh, the tip of, or excuse me, northwest of the tip of Cuba is where they're saying this system is forming. And it's a lot of activity right there, even below that. Look just south of Cuba. But the eye on Dorian is amazing. Now, again, by the time we get the next update, unless something happens, this thing will be a Cat 5. But notice in the last few frames a slight dive to the south. You see that, guys? Check that out. So the further it's south it dives, the uh, closer to Florida it will become because it, the further it gets away from that high pressure system, the longer it will take to turn. But we're watching it. That's just a slight deal. We'll see these happen. And off the uh, in the left center of the screen, you've got a system forming there. But this is incredibly powerful images. I guarantee you guys, unless something happens, it may already be a Cat 5, but we won't get it until we get the next update, probably around 2 a.m. Check it out. That's an eye of destruction. No matter where it hits, it's going to be some problems. The best scenario would be for it to curve and miss land entirely and go out into the Atlantic. Now, either way, you're going to have some problems, more than likely in the uh, Bahamas, guys. Because, and if you look at uh, some of these areas, Elbow K, Abaco, then uh, there's a quiet before the storm. This is Rocky Bay. Notice your timestamp. Today, 1131, just a few minutes ago as I was doing the video. The storm's off to the right corner. This is going to change drastically. But that storm is small and compact. That's why they aren't feeling more of it now. Abaco Inn, it's in a protected harbor. But look out over the uh, jetties straight in the center here. And uh, it's just the calm before the storm. I'm sure you don't you don't see many people out at all in any of this. And they're either evacuated or hunkered down. Some of the big cruise ships are just anchoring in out there. But guys, we're watching this. We'll keep you updated when they update, uh, probably from the hurricane hunters. I'm thinking around 2 o'clock. It may be the 4 o'clock update as far as the uh, wind speed inside the hurricane itself. There will be other models coming out before then. We're watching it. You watch it. Heads up. Be safe.